my 15 year old daughter, Sophia, and I were out looking for Nike shoes for her when we looked around and we said, I just can't find anything I like. So ironically, later that day, I saw Andrea Falstead's Bloomberg article and it was entitled Nike to be the next luxury fashion house. So my curious and quirky topic for this month is how is Nike stepping up their brand value with this new channel strategy? And, you know, what are these lessons that B2B companies can borrow from Nike? Back in 2011, roughly 16% of Nike sales were sold direct. Fast forward 10 years to 2021, and their direct sales now are 30 or 16.4 billion. And it's probably most likely accelerated even more by the pandemic since we were all in and shopping online. So this shift is by design. In 2017, about five years ago, Nike announced a new strategy, and it was called the Consumer Direct Offense. And the strategy was to increase Nike sales through its own stores and digital channels. And um, by selling more of its products directly, Nike is, is following in the footsteps of some of these luxury brands that stopped selling to certain department stores that they considered no longer up market enough. In fact, Nike CEO John Donahue said, we're working closely with large strategic partners who are authentic to sports performance and lifestyle. So what Nike's been doing is actually pulling products from what it deems undifferentiated shops that lack strong identity or they don't offer Nike any different customer than they can reach on their own. And this includes stores like Urban Outfitters, DSW, Macy's, all of this, according to Sam Poser, who's with uh, Williams Trading. So my take on all this is strategy is as much about what you're not going to do as what you're going to do. And uh, Nike is well on its way to executing this 2017 plan. They're five years into it now. And by 2025, they expect to reach 60% of their business as direct sales. It seems, however, that Nike needs to really make even more of a dramatic shift to become that luxury brand, probably always be mainstream retailer, but it could sell more aspirational and expensive sneakers and even provide some limited edition pieces that it can further increase their their equity. By the way, they already are collaborating with Louis Vuitton with a new Nike Air Force One style, which my daughter will probably want at some point. So not only is there an advantage to improving margins by cutting out that middleman, but more importantly, Nike is gaining more control of its brand equity. It's increasing its direct connections to their customers and their data, and they're becoming more exclusive. So according to Bloomberg, they say, By making its hottest sneakers harder to find, it's becoming more of a luxury like Gucci and and Louis Vuitton. It seems, however, that this strategy isn't good for some of their strategic partners, like Foot Locker. They lost about a quarter of its market value since revealing that it's going to receive slimmer supply of Nike's most in-demand styles. Foot Locker is doing in response to that is they're pulling back and they're saying no vendor can be more than 60% of their total purchases. And used to be 75% and they dropped it down to 70. So they have a little ways to go. So what does this mean to you? The strategy is very much in line with a McKinsey report that found that about 70% of B2B ordering and reordering purchases are through digital self-service and um, remote human interactions. So questions that you may want to consider is, uh, what is your customer and digital strategy? Do you have a five, eight, 10 year plan? And if so, how well are you really executing on it? By the way, if you sell through distributors or middlemen, how well are they aligned with your strategy? And do you have any access, direct access to the customers and their data? And probably one of the most important is, are you saying no to anyone? And by the way, if you happen to be the footlocker of this story where you are working with a supplier that's a major source of your product revenue and How vulnerable are you? Do you need to reconsider how you're um, balancing out your supplier portfolio so you don't end up in the same situation? So good luck. Good luck finding your uh, favorite Nike shoes. (laughs) 